Hey, what's up? I'm Nakia Babcock, and I'm a rider biomechanic coach, and I've been doing natural horsemanship since I was 13. In this video, I'm going to share with you what to do when your horse is totally out of control. I have two tips for you today um, on how to get your horse back under control when they've just totally lost it, whether they're just running too fast and you can tell they're getting really nervous or maybe they've, they're they bolting off, they're spooking, or you can just tell it's one of those days where they're like on edge and uh, you're not sure what they're going to do. Maybe they're going to spook, maybe they're going to bolt. Um, here are two tips that can help with that. The first one is hindquarter yoke. Um, the hindquarters are the power house of the horse, and if you own the hindquarters, you own the horse. So if you feel, whenever I feel personally that my horse is just kind of lost men mentally and not connected with me, not listening, I do a hindquarter yoke. So what you'll want to do is slide one hand down the rein, turn your fingernails up, and up towards your belly button and across to your opposite shoulder and then put your leg on behind the back cinch and that's a hindquarter yoke. Now obviously if your horse is going faster you'll want to do this a little slower so you don't get them off balance um, but hindquarter yokes are awesome for getting your horse connected back connected to you and getting their mind focused on you. Um, so either just doing hindquarter yields or doing a T-bone exercise, something like that can really help your horse get back connected to you mentally. The second thing, if your horse has completely lost it and is taking off, uh, the best thing to do is lateral flexion. Um, and how you do that is you slide one hand down the rein and pull it to your knee and push back on the saddle horn. Keep your seat back in the saddle. And that's how you do lateral flexion. And you're just bending the horse's neck around to you. And this um, is basically emergency stop. So if your horse ever bolts or you think they're going to, you know, bolt, or they're spooking, you know, you always want to keep them facing towards the scary thing and get them bent around. And that's another thing to do if they've just completely, you've completely lost control. That's like worst case scenario. But of course, you can always get off and play on the ground and get your horse more in tune with you. That warm up is so important. But those are just a few things that you can do while you're riding to get your horse back connected to you. Also, sometimes if your horse wants to run, doing circles or some kind of pattern and keeping them on that pattern can be really helpful. That way they can still run and get that energy out, but it's still controlled. And then, you know, always if you feel them losing it within that pattern and losing connection with you and not listening, just do a hindquarter yield. Thanks for watching. Press like, press subscribe, and be awesome. Um, the first one is hindquarter yields. Yes, hindquarter yields. Um, hindquarter yields are key. Um, Hindquarter, the hindquarters, ugh. Bleh. <laughs> that was weird. 